There's much we don't know about the red planet, but today's video narrated by Zach is on the top five amazing Martian discoveries. Number five, organic molecules. Recently, NASA's Curiosity rover made an amazing discovery on Mars. The rover, which had been exploring the surface of the red planet for more than six years, found organic molecules. The organic molecules were found inside sedimentary rocks that are a billion years old. This is exciting because organic molecules are comprised of carbon and hydrogen. As such, organic molecules are the building blocks of life. Water needs hydrogen, and most known life is carbon-based. Furthermore, organic molecules can also contain oxygen, nitrogen, and a number of other life-supporting elements. Molecules have been found on Mars before, but none of the previous molecules have been this complex. So scientists are encouraged by this recent discovery. Working together with the European Space Agency, the ExoMars rover is capable of analyzing these organic molecules to find out exactly how they were built. Scientists are unsure at the moment of where these organic molecules came from, but they hope that, with more research, they will find the answers. The discovery of organic molecules on Mars also indicates to scientists that they should keep searching the surface of Mars, as there may be more clues that indicate the presence of past life. Number 4. The Meteorite on Mars An unusual meteorite was discovered on Mars on May 25, 2014. The meteorite has been called Lebanon, and it is huge. The meteorite is 7 feet wide, and it is made of iron. It was discovered alongside a smaller component of the meteorite called Lebanon B. The meteorites were discovered by NASA's Curiosity rover. The rover was able to take detailed, high-resolution photos of this amazing discovery. Photos revealed that the meteorite had unusual cavities in its surface. Although other meteorites have been discovered before on Mars, by both the Spirit and the Opportunity rovers, this meteorite was by far the largest. In fact, nothing like this had ever been discovered before on Mars. The fact that the rover was able to find the meteorite so easily has led scientists to wonder if perhaps there are more meteorites on Mars than there are on Earth. And because the atmosphere of Mars is so different than Earth's, the meteorites can remain in a pristine condition for billions of years. Scientists are excited to explore these well-preserved meteorites as they can hold important information about the red planet, and they are hoping to find more. Number 3. The Gale Crater The Gale Crater was a significant discovery on Mars. The crater was named after Australian amateur astronomer Walter F. Gale. The crater is huge, at 96 miles in diameter. In fact, the crater is so big that it hosts a mountain in the middle of it. The mountain, which is called Helios Mons, or Mount Sharp, towers at 18,000 feet above the floor of the crater. The crater was thoroughly explored when the rover Curiosity landed on August 5, 2012. The crater was likely formed by a meteorite, and scientists believe it was created about 3.5 to 3.8 billion years ago. NASA chose to land the Curiosity rover in the Gale Crater because they believe that the Gale Crater may have once held water. Satellite images and further exploration of this crater have revealed a very exciting discovery. The surface of the crater displays what appear to be ripple marks. These ripple marks suggest that water may have once flowed through the crater. In fact, some scientists have been optimistic enough to suggest that maybe the crater once even held enough water to be considered a lake. Scientists are looking into the Gale Crater and the recent discoveries throughout it to paint a picture of what Mars may have been like three billion years ago. The Gale Crater may hold the answer to several important questions, such as, was there water on Mars? And if so, was there life? Number 2. Perseverance Valley Perseverance Valley on Mars is aptly named, as it took a lot of perseverance to reach it. The outskirts of Perseverance Valley have only recently been breached. They were breached by NASA's Opportunity rover. NASA's Opportunity rover was built to explore new terrain and to reach areas of Mars that have been previously unexplored. Opportunity is a highly resilient rover, and it was put on the red planet with one mission in mind. Opportunity was meant to go where no rover had ever gone before. And Opportunity did just that. 
it roamed for an unbelievable 13 years and finally reached the outskirts of Perseverance Valley. Perseverance Valley is on the western rim of the gigantic Endeavor Crater. The valley is very steep, and it descends downward from the west to the east at a slope of about 17 degrees. The valley's total length is equivalent to the length of two football fields. But what makes Perseverance Valley such an amazing discovery? Well, scientists believe that the valley may have been carved by fluid. Perseverance Valley bears a strong resemblance to valleys on Earth that were fluid cut. Scientists have spent years looking for signs of water on Mars. And although Mars is dry and arid now, scientists have strong suspicions that Mars may have had a watery past. Perseverance Valley may be proof of that. By further exploring Perseverance Valley, scientists are hoping to find other signs of water and to learn more about how this valley was made. And because this area of Mars has never been fully explored before, scientists are excited to discover more about this promising region. Number one, the blueberries. The Mars blueberries, as they've been coined, are a recent discovery on Mars. The blueberries were first discovered by the cameras on the Opportunity rover. They were discovered near the landing site at Meridani Planum on February 2004, and since their discovery, they have captured both the curiosity and the imaginations of scientists throughout the world. The blueberries range in size. The smallest ones were less than a micrometer, but the largest ones were as large as 250 micrometers. They were found both above and underground. The scientists called them blueberries because of their strange spherical formation and unusual blue hue. The blue hue was due to the fact that they contained high concentrations of mineral hematite. Similar spherules have been discovered in the soil of the moon and were collected by Apollo 12. The blueberries above ground appear much polished than their underground counterparts and are shiny. There are three possible causes for these blueberries, volcanic events, a meteoric episode, or underground water. Some scientists initially believed that they were actually made of volcanic ash that propelled its way into the Martian atmosphere, formed little globes, and then fell to the ground. Other scientists believed that they were remnants of small meteorites that crashed into Mars. But a paper published in December 2018 in the Journal of Scientific Advancements suggests that the blueberries were formed by water. Scientists discovered that these blueberries were spread out evenly and were found randomly within rocks. The fact that they seemed to have grown in place supported the idea that they may have been formed in water. If they had been formed by a meteorite or a volcano, they would have been layered. So the way these Martian spherules, or blueberries, have grown could be proof that there was once water on Mars. And if there was once water, there could have once been life. Honorable Mentions The Face of Mars the face of Mars didn't quite make the list of top five amazing Mars discoveries, but it warrants an honorable mention. The famous face of Mars photographs were taken by NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft on July 25, 1976. The Viking was simply circling the planet, trying to find a landing site for its sister ship, the Viking 2, when it saw a strange face-like shadow on the surface of Mars. The strange face-like shadow was in the Cydonia region, the face was enormous, at two miles long, although it doesn't look that large in the pictures. NASA was excited by these pictures and saw them as an opportunity to promote exploration of Mars and to garner public attention for the red planet. So NASA was quick to release the images to the public. In an effort to gain attention from Mars, NASA added the headline, huge rock formation that resembles a human head. Well, the pictures did what they were supposed to do they garnered a lot of public attention. Since their release by NASA, the Face of Mars pictures have become somewhat of an icon in popular culture. The Face of Mars pictures have appeared prominently throughout culture for the past 25 years. They have appeared in magazines and books and have even been the subject of talk shows. And while some people have taken the faces at face value, realizing that they are simply a trick of shadow and light, other people have taken the faces quite seriously. Some people are convinced that the face of Mars is exactly that, that proves there is extraterrestrial life. Some people believe that they are the remnants of a past extraterrestrial civilization on Mars. And as crazy as that may sound, no one has ever really disproven that the face of Mars is not actually a face. 
popular opinion, though, is that the face is simply a rock and that it only looks like a face when it's in the right light.